Chuck, I don't feel much like an executive. You don't look much like one either. This isn't the kind of work P.T. Moore of Martin and Moore should be doing. I think you're right. I'll finish putting back the plugs. Good. You sweep up the hangar. You know, Chuck, when we started this business, you said things would get worse before they got better. They did, didn't they? Shrewd business head. Yeah, but by now we should have executive suites. Secretaries, flyboys, lots of grease monkeys working for us. What are you crabbing about? We have a secretary. Hi. Hi, Janet. Can we help you out, sir? I'm looking for Martin and Moore. I'm Moore, he's Martin. Oh, well, my name's Malloy. I'd like to discuss charting your helicopter for this weekend. Oh, what's the job? Why don't we go in the office and talk it over? Uh, there's nothing wrong with it, is there? Oh, no, sir. We're just checking out the engine. Right this way, Mr. Malloy. Oh. Uh, Miss Secretary, would you get us a pot of coffee? Have a chair, Mr. Malloy. Mr. Malloy, you spoke of a weekend charter. What's the job? Well, I'm meeting a small group of friends at a hunting lodge in the mountains about 50 miles from Suttonville. So oh, that's mighty high stuff. Yeah, we'd have to fly through canyons to get you there. Oh, there's a clearing near the lodge that'll do for the helicopter. Mm -hmm. Gonna do some deer hunting? Well, I guess. Elk, mountain sheep, whatever we find. Would you expect us to stay up there and wait for you to come back? Well, it seems better that way, don't you think? Be less expensive. We can do some hunting ourselves. Well, actually, I only need to hire the pilot, don't I? Mr. Malloy, we fly all our jobs together. Same rates. Well, it's up to you. Okay, Mr. Malloy. What do you want me to do with all this coffee? Just keep it warm for us, Janet. We'll be back in a couple of days. aren't the kind of men who'd have a lodge where there wasn't good hunting. Boy, if it's anything I like, it's venison. Thick steaks broiled over an open wood fire. P.T.'s a pretty good man with a rifle. He's even better with a knife and fork. Another 10 or 15 minutes before we get to the landing area, Mr. Malloy. I'll tell you when to start looking. Yeah. Okay. How much more of this? We have no choice. We can't make altitude to get over this stuff. We have to run in and out. We just have to make sure we stay out of these high walled box canyons with the cross currents. Yeah. Great. We're Now, Mr. Malloy, I think that's your spot. Get ahead. Now that's it. It's your cabin right over there. The boys can get unpacked and rest a while before dinner.
they the two guys to fly you in? That's the way they wanted it. One, two, what's the difference? You're the boss on the job, Denny. Sit down, Denny. Boys. I've got the whole thing worked out. Knocking off Mike Donnelly is going to be the easiest job you ever pulled for us. How? Oh. <laughs> Poor Michael never know what hit him. Sandy's done a real smart job on this, Danny. Real smart. He even suggested you to handle it. Thanks, Sandy. Why not? You're the best. Mike should be on it. How do I work it, Sandy? The helicopter. That's why we told you to come up with one. When Mike gets here, you take him out Sunday. You dump him in the desert. Two or three hundred miles away. Very good. It leaves all of you in the clear. That's the idea. Then you take off again, arrange an accident for your two flyboys, and it's all wrapped up. It's clever, Sandy. It's real smart. In our business, you've got to be smart. You're either smart or you're dead. He's gone, Cricket. What are you doing? I'm not up here to take care of Mike Donnelly. You made a little mistake. Mike's been holding out. He tapped us in St. Louis. How about you, Sandy? 250,000 short with the numbers in Chicago. I'll give it back. Every cent. Get him locked up. Uh, Blackie. Fancy cricket. I'll do anything. Give me a chance. Only don't, don't let Danny take me, please. Look, you planned the setup yourself, Sandy. We're going to use it on you. Please don't. I won't ever cause you a holdout, please. You think I planned my own killing? You think I'll let you do this to me? Kill me now. Then I'll ruin your alibi. Lock him up. Upstairs. It's better when they don't know about it. That way you're their pal until you pull the trigger. Chuck Martin. How are you, boy? Right. Certainly a pleasure to be here. This is Mr. Mann, Mr. Sackland, Mr. Masters. Hi. Sir. Thought you boys are hungry. We sure are. Well, we haven't been since tonight. Great. Uh, why don't you have a seat? We'll be eating soon. Sure. Don't touch the light. 
Where's your friend? You both gotta hear this. Who's he, Chuck? The name is Sandy Kuhn. You're not a member of the party. I didn't see you at dinner. I was a bad boy. I got locked in my room. I gotta make this quick. My friend sent for Danny Malloy to take care of me. Rub me out. Well, this is pretty late at night for jokes. That's no joke, believe me. And after they take care of me, you guys go. Chuck, this guy's lost his marbles. No, I don't think so, P.T. There's been something wrong. We both felt it. Yeah, I know, but killing. Who's gonna do all this? Malloy, that's his business. He's a professional killer, hired gunman, torpedo. These friends you talked about, what do they do? Rackets. Yeah, me too, all my life. But I made a mistake. I held out a big cut for myself and they found out. So what do you want us to do? You want to save your own necks. Maybe we can work together. Look, what if we don't believe you? What's to keep us from talking to Malloy? You can talk to him if you want. You'll find out soon enough. Yeah, but what do you want us to do? You've got the helicopter. We could get out now. All right, all right. I believe you. We'll help. But if we make it, you're going to take your own chances with the police. Sure, sure. We'll do it your way, but let's go. Sleep in the lights when you left? Yeah, but I know Malloy, rough, smart. Why didn't I think of that? Malloy's no fool. He pulled him out. Now what? If I could just get my hands on one of the rifles. No good. They got him locked up. And they'll hear us if we crack the lock open. We could walk out. We never make it on foot. And if we did, they'd be waiting for us. Yeah. Look, if you're gone, we're in the clear. That might work. I could stay out here. We could sneak food out to you. Yeah, they'd wake up in the morning, find out I got away. Give Malloy the job of hunting me down. Sure, Malloy. Just help us fly him home. How about it? Okay. Go back. Go back to bed. And if you get a chance after the excitement is over, leave some food behind you, Kevin. Right. You believe all this, Chuck? Have to. No other reason for Malloy to take those plugs out. Do you guys feel like a little deer hunting today? Not me. My feet still hurt since yesterday. <laughs> How about you, boy? Why not? How about it, P.T.? Mr. Moore is pretty good with a rival, I hear. Okay. Don't know any reason why we can't go. Good enough. There's a lake not far from here. Saw it when we flew in. Duck hunting any good there? Yeah, good. Inside, quick. Sandy, he cracked out of here. Well, we can't wait till Sandy to finish him off. We've got to do it now. Where's Pete? Look, if he can't crawl inside, he's dead. I'll take a look and see. Now look. Don't you go out and try to join Sandy. You're covered. He's dead. Get over there with your friend and stay down. How about this? I ain't had a gunfight in years. A lot of years. <laughs> like the old days, huh? Well, just to make it instant, a thousand dollars for the first man who gets him. Look! You start thinking how we get him. He's out there, we can't see him. He can pick us off one by one. Oh, come on, let's get him. Yeah, but we got the food. We can last long than he does. Ah! 
Martin, see if you can do something for him. Have any first aid stuff here? Yeah, in the bathroom. Kill him, Danny. If he don't get us first, then we won't leave now until he's done just that. He's in a spot where he can't leave any witnesses. Well, get out there and get him. Doctor, but it's a bad wound. Well, how about it, Masters? Well, he set up him out there, us in here. Well, he's got us if we don't get him. We can just hold up in here. What about tonight? He comes closer. We can watch tonight. No, this is our move. We've got to be sure it's the right one. Think I can get out in the woods by myself? Well, once you did, you'd even up the odds with him. Well, then keep me covered. I'll draw his fire. Now go out the back. simplifies things. Now there's just us. Get over there. We've got to get out to that helicopter and find him from the air. If we get to it, why not fly out and leave him here? That's Sandy Kerner out there. He'll find us wherever we are. Why us? You don't listen so good, do you? Look, you both have to die because you could hang him. We'd rather take that chance. Well, I wouldn't. Now, there's only one way that has any protection from those woods. How about waiting till dark? Because we can't find him after dark. Not that way. Keep going. Okay. Now let's circle around and get to that copter fast.
fans over the whole countryside. How long can we stay up? As long as the engine runs. Better make that clear before it's too late. That's just where we're going. Okay, Danny, drop the rifle. Drop it, Malloy, press! Now the automatic, Danny boy. Look, Sandy, they're all dead. I got nothing to do, my job's over. Then how come he was still hunting me down? Well, I, I knew you'd be sore, you'd come gunning for me. But... Now we can talk. Look, Sandy, it, it's silly to kill me. I, I was hired for the job, but you know me. Yeah, I know. I know you're real good, Danny, a long time. I hired you every now and then. You're a good boy, Danny. Okay. Why, why bump me? We always got along. I'm going out of here with the two boys, Danny. Just me and the two fly boys. You and the lousy rats who hired you. You're all going to stay here. Well, you're, you're, you're crazy. Now, look, Sandy, I... I, I didn't say Sandy Kerner had to get it. I, I didn't hire no gunsel to knock you off. What, what have I got against you? Because I let nobody live who takes a gun to me, Danny. Sandy, you hit the ship. How are we going to fly out of here? Where'd I hit you? Gas line. You can start it together. There's over 50 gallons of gas at the lodge. I'll pay you to get me out. Anything. You name it. Ten grand. Twenty grand. Anything. Play for the big stakes, boys. He's got two hundred and fifty grand stashed away. Only one thing we want from you, Mr. Malloy. That's twenty bucks for a new fuel line when we get back. Now, come on, let's get that gas.